Welcome to the EWTN Religious Catalog. This program features Mother Angelica with some of her favorite holy reminders. Good books, rosaries, beautiful art, statues, and crucifixes, all designed to enrich our spiritual lives. There are also many other special items for your consideration. To order, call our toll-free number 24 hours a day at 1-800-854-6316 or visit www.ewtnreligiouscatalog.com. We accept Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and Discover. We also accept money orders and personal checks in U.S. dollars. And now here is Mother Angelica. Well, hi there, and welcome to your catalog show. And I have to tell you all the time that <clears throat> and remind you that this is a service for you as a happy reminder. And please don't let it take the place of your contribution. Huh? Okay. We have something that's very, very wonderful. We have here, as far as I can see, we had this book before, I think we advertised it, called Marian Shrines in Italy. And it represents 35 of the 1,500 Marian Shrines of Italy, including all the stories of various shrines and visions and, and visionaries. Now here are, there are 155 illustrations. Boy, look at that one, huh? It's a major, Mary Major, the Holy House of Nazareth, and where, you know, the angels miraculously transported that uh, to Loreto. The floating stone, Madonna, the story of the whole city built around a basilica. It, it was built by a lawyer who was a former Satanist priest, no less. It tells all about him. And each story in this book, this is Our Lady Virgin of the Revelation, but each story has helped her children uh, ward off terrible, terrible scourges. And we should increase our devotion to Our Lady. And our, these shrines have, have given thousands and thousands and thousands of people answered their prayers and performed many, many, many miracles. So the whole thing is to lead the pilgrims to her divine son. That's all she wants. If you're planning a visit to Italy, I would get this book. And even if you're not, at least you can read about them and you got a good imagination, you can picture them. And this is the book to get. Now, have you heard about the glories of Mary? Uh, the glories of Mary are Fred Alphonse's Le Glory. It's a big book. This is condensed. It's a new condensed version of the large book from the famous explanation of the Hail Holy Queen by Alphonse Le Glory. And here's even the mysteries of the rosary, if you have a hard time remembering them. And everything in here, what to do in time of temptation, a hope for sinners, uh, help in purgatory. Oh, boy, we're all going to know that one. He writes of the glories of Mary as a defense of Our Lady's position, a traditional position. You know, certain writers of his ridiculed devotion to Mary in his time. And they criticized the Hail Holy Queen. So Alphantis goes, and in response, he makes this book, and this is an abridged copy, had overwhelming effect. He quoted saints, doctors, popes, sacred scripture, to prove this is the mother of God. Now, we have some of you that are, have great devotion to Our Lady already. This is a beautiful book called Mary Day by Day. It's every day in the year. You know, some of you are so busy. You got to go to work early and you get up and you get late, home late at night. 
And here's a prayer every day, just a little bitty one, look. It's what we call one minute meditation. Now don't tell me you cannot afford one minute for a lady. I think you better afford it. She needs a little thing, that's just a minute. And you need to have this book, all you that are on trains and buses and cars and blowing your horn at traffic and all that kind of stuff. Instead of blowing your horn while you're waiting, read a little thing like this. They're all from sacred scripture and the writings of the saints. This, this little thing here is not a thing, it's a New Testament. And years ago, um, the Fathers of the Precious Blood printed this. Well, it's being reprinted, reprinted. And the one I was shown before this day was gray or blue or blue-gray, whatever, and, and I was looking, looking, looking for it. And I talked to Catherine and she called Patty and I was sure it was bigger and anyway what I got was this little one here and I was amazed I put my hands on it like that and I knew it was the word of God well I've touched and handled and carried a thousand Bibles in my lifetime and holy books never did I have that kind of awareness, and I don't know why. It's just paper. It's one of the wonderful copies of the Precious Blood New Testament. It's the whole Bible. I mean, the whole New Testament: Saint John, Saint Paul, Timothy, Corinthians. But I knew it was the Word of God. I just knew it. So what do I do? I carry it in my pocket. Every so often, I'll open it up. Just at random, and <sighs> it's awesome. I just thought I'd share that with you. Here it is. I'd like you to have one. And I, I just don't know why, except I would love you to have one. It's just a special word of God. So. I'm getting late. I got through and through. Here's Doug now with a recap of everything I've spoken about and how you can get it. And I'll be back in just a minute. Thanks, Mother. But first, here's Barbara with some new items for our consideration. Scripture tells us that as Jesus hung from the cross, he gave us to his mother as her children and in turn gave her to us as our mother. The Gospel of John reads, When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing near, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her to his own home. The Blessed Virgin Mary has been venerated for her significant role in our salvation history for centuries. Today we have several holy reminders dedicated to our Blessed Mother. First is this pretty dark blue ceramic icon flower vase depicts Our Lady, Mother of Tenderness on one side and Christ the Teacher on the reverse. The vase coordinates with this incense container that is also made of blue ceramic. An image of Our Lady of Vladimir appears on the top. The lid twists open to reveal fragrant incense inside. This ceramic icon bowl also features Our Lady of Vladimir. This popular image can be traced back to Constantinople in the year 1125. It is credited with saving Moscow during an attempted Mongol invasion. The people of Russia brought the original icon to Moscow and venerated it there. Many credited Russia being saved from ruin during that tumultuous time to Our Lady. The icon soon became the symbol of the Eastern Church in Russia. This bowl with cover measures four and a half inches in diameter. 
And next is this Olive Wood Miraculous Metal Cord Rosary. It features an intricately carved crucifix and center, along with Our Father beads carved to look like roses. The rosary comes with a small prayer pamphlet that contains information on the miraculous metal and instructions for praying the rosary. It is imported from Italy. And next, we have three beautiful pouches to hold your favorite rosary or chaplet. First, and I think this is my favorite, is the Madonna and Child Icon Rosary Pouch. The beautiful image of the Virgin Mary and the Christ Child captures the loving relationship between Jesus and Our Lady. On the reverse side of the pouch is a Byzantine Russian style cross with a dove on the top representing the Holy Spirit and each arm of the cross having the letters IC XC. These letters stand for Jesus Christ in Greek. This is the Madonna Comforter Icon Rosary Pouch. The reverse side features the same cross as the pouch I just showed you, and the front features a similar image. In it, Our Lady lovingly gazes down at her son with her hand protectively resting on his head. Jesus inclines his head toward her and holds his hand up in blessing as he gazes out toward us. This Virgin of Tenderness icon rosary pouch is designed with the same detail as the other two pouches I just showed you. It features the Virgin of Tenderness, one of the most beloved icons of the Blessed Mother in the Christian East. Each of these zippered tapestry pouches is lined with nylon and measures five and three eighth inches by four inches. Our Lady of Fatima is a very popular image of the Blessed Mother. In 1916, the guardian angel of Portugal appeared to Jacinta and Francisco Marto and Lucia Santos to teach them how to pray and to prepare to be visited by Our Lady. We celebrate Our Lady of Fatima on May 13th. These next holy reminders honor Our Lady's appearances to the three shepherd children in Portugal. Most people know of Our Lady's visitation in the small Portuguese village of Fatima in 1917. But are we truly aware of how the message of Fatima truly changed and altered the course of world history? Have we learned how the message of Fatima completely changed the life and mission of Pope John Paul II? In John Paul II, the Pope who understood Fatima by Eduardo Siguenza, readers will learn how the Mother of God used the message of Fatima to guide a Vicar of Christ into changing the life of the world and humanity forever. Father Andrew Apostoli presents Our Lady's message another way in his book, Fatima for Today, the urgent Marian message of hope. He shows us that although the apparitions of Our Lady of Fatima took place almost a hundred years ago, Our Lady's call to prayer and penance for the salvation of souls and peace in the world is as relevant now as when first delivered to three Portuguese peasant children in 1917. And next is the chaplet of Our Lady of Fatima made of blue glass beads. The chaplet comes with a prayer card featuring an image of Our Lady of Fatima with the three children and also includes instructions for praying the chaplet in both English and Spanish. The prayer on the front of the card reads, Most Holy Virgin, who has appeared to the children of Fatima to reveal the glories of the Rosary, inspire our hearts to obtain peace for the world and the end of war, the conversion and consecration of Russia, and the conversion of sinners. Assist us, Our Lady of the Rosary, at the hour of need in securing the graces needed for the salvation of all those who go to confession, 
receive the Holy Communion and recite the Rosary and meditate on its mysteries. What a beautiful prayer. And next, Our Lady of Fatima Holy Water Font is made of fiberglass, measures 10 and 3 quarter inches high, and is imported from Peru. When you place it filled next to the door you most often enter and e exit your home, it will remind you to bless yourself with this powerful sacramental and to pray the rosary daily as Our Lady of Fatima instructed. And next is this Our Lady of Fatima glass holy water bottle. It features a silver metal medallion of Our Lady. The plastic lid provides a leak resistant seal and prevents rust. Because it measures only three and a half inches, this bottle is easy to take with you in your pocket or purse. We also have this set with holy water bottle and water from Fatima. The set includes a prayer card, a vial of water from Fatima, and a two and a half inch glass holy water bottle. Even though the water is from Fatima, it should be blessed by a priest. It is our obligation and our privilege to pass on the faith to our children. Father Robert Fox helps us do just that with this book called Mary Teaches the Faith at Fatima. This is an easy to read synopsis of the Catholic faith. Our Lady's lessons from Fatima are clearly presented here, along with beautiful illustrations, making this book suitable for all ages. The Day the Sun Danced DVD is another way to pass along Our Lady's message to children. This animated children's movie brings the story of Lucia, Francisco, Jacinta, and Our Lady's appearances to them vividly to life. It comes on one disc with a running time of 30 minutes. And next we have two beautiful statues of Our Lady. This beautiful Our Lady of Fatima statue would be perfect in any room of your home. The three shepherd children devoutly and lovingly gaze up at Our Lady as she instructs them. The statue is made of resin stone mix and measures 12 inches high. And here is a very beautiful Our Lady of Fatima statue. It represents the children as three peaceful doves at Our Lady's feet who will carry her message throughout the world. It is made of fiberglass and features glass eyes. The statue measures 15 inches high. It is imported from Portugal, the country in which Our Lady's famous apparitions took place. And here we have another beautiful image of Our Lady of Fatima with the children. The beautiful image of Mary with the three shepherd children was originally painted by Charles Busseron Chambers. It is printed on high quality textured artboard and framed in a gold painted wood frame. It measures 11 and a half inches by 14 and a half inches and is made in the USA. Finally, we have this stunning Our Lady of Fatima icon. It is decorated with a silver plated brass cover that features 24 karat gold accents. Hand tooled and hand painted, it measures eight and a half inches by 13 inches and is imported from Poland. And now here's Doug to tell you how to order any of these special items and reminders dedicated to Our Lady. Thanks, Barbara. Now here's a look at the items that Mother has presented on this program. Now the first of our holy reminders from Mother Angelica was the book, Marian Shrines of Italy. Priced at $13, item number is 1947. It's the Marian Shrines of Italy. Next up we have the Glories of Mary. Priced at $8. Item number 36022, based on St. Alphonsus's masterpiece, The Glories of Mary, leather hardcover edition. Speaking of Our Lady, we have Mary Day by Day. Item number is 18009, priced at $7.50.
includes 300 illustrations, Mary, day by day. And closing things out for Mother Angelica is the pocket-sized New Testament, priced at $10. Item number is 94204. Includes a ribbon marker. This is the pocket-sized New Testament. Now moving on to the items that Barbara has presented on this program. First up from Barbara was the Icon Flower Vase. ANA1B is the item number, priced at $36. Made of blue ceramic, it's the Icon Flower Vase. Next, we have the Icon Incense Container, item number ANA97, priced at $28. Measuring four inches in height, the Icon Incense Container. We also have the Ceramic Icon Bowl with Cover, pictured on your screen. It's item number 105RV, priced at $27. Features an image of the Blessed Mother on the top, it's the Ceramic icon bowl with cover. Next we have the Olive Wood Miraculous Metal Cord Rosary that Barbara showed us, priced at $22, imported from Italy. Item number is P156R for the Olive Wood Miraculous Metal Cord Rosary. We also have icon rosary pouches, each priced at $8. The first one is the Madonna and Child Icon Rosary Pouch. It's TIP4. The Madonna Comforter Icon Rosary Pouch is TIP5. And the Virgin of Tenderness Icon Rosary Pouch is TIP3. Each of these Icon Rosary Pouches priced at $8. Next we have John Paul II, the Pope who understood Fatima. Paperback edition of this work priced at $10. Item number 3245 for John Paul II, the Pope who understood Fatima. We also have Fatima for today, the urgent Marian message of hope by Father Andrew Apostoli, our great friend, priced at $20, featured on bookmark. Item number 5238, Fatima for today. In that same vein, we have the chaplet of Our Lady of Fatima, priced at $6, item number 87C for the chaplet of Our Lady of Fatima. There's also Our Lady of Fatima Holy Water font, priced at $28, item number P005. Our Lady of Fatima Holy Water font. There's also Our Lady of Fatima glass holy water bottle, priced at $7, item number 9404. Our Lady of Fatima glass holy water bottle. We also have another holy water bottle with water from Fatima. This one is priced at $6. Item number is C2003 for the holy water bottle with water from Fatima. Next, we have Mary Teaches the Faith at Fatima by the late Father Robert Fox, a good friend of this network, priced at $10. Item number MTTF, Mary Teaches the Faith at Fatima. Next, we have the classic... The Day the Sun Danced on DVD. Wonderful animated presentation for kids, priced at $15. Item number A01D, The Day the Sun Danced, and this is on DVD. Next, we have Our Lady of Fatima, the statue, priced at $47.50. Item number 40722, measures 12 inches in height, Our Lady of Fatima statue. We also have another Our Lady of Fatima statue, this one standing 15 inches in height, Priced at $55. Item number for this one is 28015 for the Our Lady of Fatima statue. We also have Our Lady of Fatima with children framed art pictured on your screen. As you can see, it's priced at $54. It's item number 1078. Measures 11 and a half inches by 14 and a half inches. Our Lady of Fatima with children framed art. And wrapping things up for Barbara on this program is the Our Lady of Fatima Silver Icon. Now, this is priced at $180, hand-tooled and hand-painted, measuring 8.5 inches by 13 inches. Item number 99P, Our Lady of Fatima Silver Icon. So if you'd like to order that item or any of the items featured on this particular program, just go to our website, www ewtnreligiouscatalog.com to see all the items featured on this particular program as well as all the items that are actually available from the EWTN Religious Catalog. They're all there on our website. 
And you can order using Visa, MasterCard, Discover, or American Express. And also, if you'd like, you can also give us a call 24 hours a day at our toll-free number, which is 1-800-854-6316. And now, with some closing thoughts and comments, here is our own Mother Angelica. Well, now you know what to get and how to get it. We have always time for Jesus. We should have. We get so involved in things that pass, that pass, and they're not going to be there anymore. And the things we buy and spend a lot of money for and some people sell their souls for are on their way out. Then what? That's the problem. Then what? Remember, we're born here to live and to die. And we will all go through that process. But in between is our opportunity and time to become holy, to be close to Jesus. What else is there that doesn't pass, that doesn't cause you unbelievable pain and sorrow? Unbelievable. But we have to dedicate. And it doesn't matter what state of life you're in. We all have the same purpose. How do I get to heaven? And how do I keep holy and pure and good, kind, loving, compassionate? All these wonderful things that Jesus is willing to give us, huh? Well, stay close to Jesus and bye now.